I just wanted to do a quick review of this tool called Fantage Robot and it has quite a few tools within it that I wanted to review and show it to you and show you how it works and let, give you an idea of whether it's worth it for you or not. So basically what it does is it lets you automate your Facebook and other social accounts such as Twitter or Google Plus or LinkedIn or Pinterest or any other account that you might have. And basically, so let us let me walk you through what it does one by one. So here's the post thing over here. So after you've connected your Facebook account or your Twitter account, and you could go to settings and you can connect any accounts that you want, Tumblr and LinkedIn and Blogger, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. So what you can do is you can manage your posting straight from over here, your career message over here. And then you can either post it right away to your Facebook or other accounts, and you can edit which accounts you want to post it to right over here. You can either post it now, or you can schedule it for a later time, let's say 2 o'clock in the afternoon, or you can let it order schedule. If you don't want to have to schedule it by yourself, it will automatically pick a time for you that is that has the best opportunity to meet the most people. And that's called order schedule. And if you've ever used Buffer Hootsuite, this works similarly, but it has a bunch of cool stuff that Buffer Hootsuite don't have. For example, it has the hashtag analysis tool, as you can see over here. For example, let's say I'll enter a hashtag make money online. And then it will, sorry about that. Let's enter work at home, for example. And then it will tell you, for example, how many tweets this gets per hour, the potential views for this for this hashtag per hour if you use it, how many retweets it gets. This doesn't work at home, doesn't get a lot of retweets. How many posts with images include this hashtag? How many posts with links include this hashtags? Etc. Etc. And basically if you want to use hashtags and you're not sure which hashtag is a good one to use and will get you exposure and which one isn't, basically you can use this little tool right over here. It also has this ability to change your URLs to a rack.ly URL. Just enter URL over here, and then you can choose a campaign, and I'll show you what this is later on. Basically, for now, you'll just enter a URL, and it will change it to a rack.ly URL, and it will post it together with your post. And again, you can either post it right away, add it to a queue, let it schedule itself automatically, or schedule it by yourself. Then there's the generate content tool over here. And what the generate content tool does is it lets you find um, trending content for any topic very quickly and you can post it to your social media accounts with just two clicks. So basically, let's say you want to find something that make money online, so you'll enter that and then you could look for news or images or videos and you can find articles around the web like top 10 ways to make money from video clips online, several simple, seven simple ways to save money online, four ways you can make money on Instagram, you can find articles or images or videos from around the internet or from around social media. And you could also see the search trend if you want to know if this is a trending topic. As you can see, Make Money Online obviously is a trending topic. And then if you want to share something to your Facebook account, basically what you'll do is you just click on it and it will let you will come up the same posting edit, editing area right over here and you'll basically be able to post it to your Facebook or Twitter account with one click, or you can, again, you can schedule it, and you can change the URL to a rack.ly URL. And this is very important. I'll show you exactly what rack.ly is in a second. And if you want, you can let it do this automatically for you. So basically what you'll do is you'll, you'll add this to the content mixer. This is already in the content mixer. For example, let's see, you want to post about um, work at home. We'll do that, and you click on news, and then you can add it to the, save the search to the content mixer. What the content mixer does is it will post automatically. It will find these trending con these trending articles and videos and images for you, and will post them automatically without you having to do a thing. So all you have to do is select topics that you want to post to your social media accounts. So it does make money online, internet marketing. And then what you can do is that you will set it up so that the fan page robot system will post it to your Facebook page automatically while you sleep. And so you can, or, for you, or to your Twitter account or your Pinterest account or whatever you want. So basically you can just, you can automate your entire social media um, campaigns and keep tweeting out um, 
trend and content without having to do a thing. And you'll be able to collect leads from this content with Rack.ly. I'll explain that in a second. And if you don't want it to post automatically, you, for example, you want to see something before it gets posted to your Facebook or Twitter account, you can do something called notify me. Basically, you'll get an email when an update comes up and you'll be able to post it to your Twitter account from your email. So this way you can review it first. And you can set it, for example, five times a day or eight times a day or whatever you want. It's not going to post every other second for you. You'll set it how many times a day you want. So again, there's the posting tool. There's the generate content tool, finding trending content, around, trending content around the web, and the content mixer, which posts trending content from around the web and social media to your feed automatically. Then there's Rack.Lead. Now, this is a very cool tool, basically. What it does is it lets you put sign-up forms and other websites, okay? So you heard right. You could put your own email sign-up forms and other websites. Basically, what you'll do is you'll create a campaign, and you'll get around 100 different email sign-up templates. And you can customize these and add your own images and texts, and you can integrate them with Aweber or MailChimp or get response or whatever. And then what you'll do is I've already I've already created some campaigns, as you can see over here. So I'll show you an example. Basically, I'll go to Fox News as an example. Here's Fox News. I'll take Fox News and I'll create a special rack.ly URL. For example, here's Fox, new, Fox News. I'll select the campaign, one that I already created. I'll click on go and I'll get the special link over here. So basically, this will be a version of Fox News that has your sign up form. Okay, so as you can see, this is Fox News. Excuse the slow internet while it's loading. Cracks in the wall. Basically, when I'll enter that rack.ly URL, it'll be the same Fox News website, but Fox News website, but with my public form. And it's loading slowly, so I'll come back to it. So basically, what you'll do is you'll find trending content from around the web, and you can do that easily through the generate content tool or the content mixer tool and let it do for you. And you can automatically change those URLs into a rack.ly URL, and you can drive massive traffic to those um, viral content. You don't have to tweet out links to your own site. That's pretty spammy, and you won't get a lot of followers that way. But if you keep um, tweeting out and posting to Facebook and to Google+, Plus, um, trending viral content, then a lot of people will start following you and clicking on it. And if your sign-up form appears on that trending content, you'll get a lot of email signups and subscribers that way. For example, um, it's still loading. The internet is pretty slow right now. I'm not sure why. But as you'll see, Fox News will appear and my sign-up form will appear in a second. So basically, again, what you'll do is you'll let it automatically post um, trending content from around the web and you'll save the search to the content mixer and you think you want. And each um, your sign-up form will appear in each article that I post. And when you generate massive traffic to those viral pieces of content, you'll get subscribers automatically. And um, still loading. I hope you'll excuse the slow internet. But the pop-up should appear any second. Usually, it, usually it goes much faster. And Fanpage Robot also lets you um, lets you buy traffic. You can buy Facebook likes and Instagram likes and followers and comments and and shares and tweets and retweets and and YouTube likes and YouTube dislikes for other people's videos and and social signals if you want. And you can get website visitors. So as you see right over here, this is my sign-up form that appears on Fox News. This is extremely cool tool. Usually it happens in just a second, but I have a very slow internet right now. So basically what you'll do is you'll find trending content from around the web in any niche, in any topic. You'll let Fanpage Robot automatically post it to your social accounts. And you'll have the special rack.ly, so it will automatically change those URLs to a rack.ly URL with your sign-up forms on those pages. So you'll be able to drive massive traffic to any website and you'll be able to get lots of subscribers that way. And as I've, I was starting to say, you can buy traffic, and they say this is all real traffic, real followers. They say it's real but not targeted. I've never tried it myself. Um, it's not that expensive. A thousand visitors, for example, costs $2.40 if you're a member of Fanpage Robot. And they say that it's real visitors but not targeted visitors. 
I've never tried it myself, so I don't know if it's high quality or worth it. So basically, those are the four things that you can do. Let um, automatically schedule your postings, generate content, content mixer, let it generate content and automatically post it for you, rack that lead, change any URL, and share it on social media so that you get subscribers from those websites. How much does fan page yoga cost? It used to cost $9.95 when I signed up not long ago, but it looks like it just changed the price to $14.95 a month. And you can use three fan page, Facebook fan pages and 36 social media accounts from other social media sites, like such as Twitter or, or, or Pinterest or LinkedIn. And if you want unlimited Facebook fan pages, it only costs $39 a month. And the advantages of this over Hootsuite or Buffer again are is that you can let a po- find content for you to post automatically and use the special rack that lead campaigns. And you can also have the analysis analysis for the for the hashtags. So I'll include a link to it on the bottom. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.